Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video! Today we're going to be learning why islands like this are some of the best places that you can make a base in Valheim. For the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on this series of islands right here. You can see that there's actually five of them, and they're all Meadows Islands, which are close to this big swamp biome. Talk about the perfect scenario, right? The reason you want multiple islands has to do with resources and spawning. Each island will act as a spawn point, so anytime you're on the main island, then deer and boar will spawn on the other islands. You can shut off the spawning really easily. All you have to do is make one fire on the island. As long as it's a little island like this, then nothing will spawn here anymore. To turn the spawning back on, all you have to do is remove the campfire or any workbench or other kind of items that you've built on the little island, and then the enemies will start spawning. See, now all I've done is just walk over, <laughs> swim over to this island, and now I can look back over at the other island, and what's that Grey Dwarf doing over there? Or Greyling. There's very obviously a new monster there. And this is why you want more than one island, because if you just plop your base on one island, you're going to run out of resources, and you're not going to get any of the meadows resources to generate, specifically flint, boar, and deer. But by having islands that you can run back and forth from, you can see, look at that, we have some respawns. Well, this whole spawning thing's great and all, but what about during raids? Once a random event is triggered, Enemies will spawn on any sort of eligible land nearby. So this island is dangerous because there's still plenty of space for monsters to spawn when an event starts. However, if there were campfires throughout the island, now I've spawn-proofed this main island by placing all of these campfires. So when an event starts, You'll notice that the Grey Dwarfs don't spawn. Because there's no eligible ground that they can spawn in. So you can use this to control what happens on the island. Much Sailing more. is a huge part of Valheim, and it's something that's honestly quite challenging to get the hang of. And what you'll find in Valheim is the more often you use the cart, the carve and the longship, the more fun you have. They're really the catalysts of a lot of Valheim adventures. And being on a series of little islands like this really facilitates that action. The best spots have these islands and they're sort of close to each other. That way you can connect them with bridges and you can designate certain islands to be spawning islands and certain islands to be farming islands and they can all have their own little purpose. And there's all sorts of other cool stuff that you can do. For example, you can connect everything with little bridges. This won't stop items from spawning as long as you remember to delete the workbench. Here's another base that I've actually been using. A farming island halfway through. That island is for resources. So that's where we get any boar, when our boar die, that sort of thing. We're preparing over here for a big voyage because <laughs> this is actually a no map run that we're doing right now. So we have to get all of our resources together and go from sort of base to base with all the stuff that we're gonna use. So this, these boats are about to be loaded up with all of, all of the things that we need for our next voyage. If you're lucky, You'll find one of these islands that's really close to a biome that you want to explore. It's not really convenient to sail every time you're going somewhere, so it's good to establish a walkway so that you can get there quickly if you die, because I don't know about you, but I die a lot in Valheim. And to be honest, this was my favorite way to interact with the swamp because there's this bright, well-lit base over here in this what's technically meadows biome, and then I can run into the swamp 
then we're gonna find that it gets all dark and dreary. And this is what your swamp experience is normally like. So having this base over here in the sunlight that I can just go to, and it really helps break up the darkness of the swamp experience. See, we just come over here and suddenly everything's all bright again. For example, now that I'm limited to this little island and that swamp over there, I don't really have that much wood available. So we can easily turn an island here into a wood farm. Now that we've cleared all of the wood and all of the stone, we're ready to expand the land a little bit. For that, we'll need to use a hoe. And our goal with the hoe here is to just make this island just a little bit more flat, basically. You don't have to do this part, but I find that it's easier to work with. Here we are, and this is good enough for now. This is all you really need to do. Now it's time to plant our trees. You'll find that just by cutting wood in the meadows and the black forest, you'll have lots of beech seeds, and then also some pine cones and fir cones. And we're just gonna place them roughly around that far apart, okay? You can actually- There we go. Now our little farm is planted. Ah, wow, that was fast. There we go. Now all we gotta do is chop everything down. And as you cut things down, make sure to look towards the center of the island. In general, when you cut trees in Valheim, the tree is gonna fall the direction that you're hitting from. And you'll see that there's sort of a chain reaction effect. And as you get further down the pile, the trees start to knock themselves over and it gets easier and easier to cut them. Boom, there we go. The last one's always quite satisfying. There we go, now we've processed the island and we got around 10 stacks of wood. So that's about 500, which is enough for all right, everybody, that's it for this video. I hope you feel inspired to try checking out a Meadows Island or maybe a Black Forest Island and making an island base. They are really, really fun, and I can't believe I didn't try making a base on an island earlier. Comment below if there's something that you'd like me to make a tutorial about, and if you would like to support my work, then consider checking out my tutorial all about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server. Hilda's Request just launched, so it's a great time to get back into Valheim with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!